Perfect. Well, thank you so much, uh, guys, for being here tonight, uh, and welcome to tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, Civil Connect call. My name is Milo Casa, uh, North American Sales Director, and we are going to start with this call. We have an awesome call going on. We have some uh, uh, things to let you guys know about some trips that we had um, pretty much uh, you know, in, in Europe and uh, here in the U.S. Uh, we uh, had the opportunity to, um, to be visiting a couple, a couple of... Um, well, for a couple of weeks, actually, but let's let's start with the promotions. Uh, last month, we actually had one of our, be our best promotions uh, ever. We, you know, people loved the, the, the April promotion, and we're going to be still doing um, a monthly promotions. So we have a, a awesome Mother's Day promo uh, that started probably a week ago, and want to make sure that we you guys had enough time to to order this um, this pack uh, and, and ship it. Uh, yeah, with enough time to, for Mother's Day, this um, promotion as a mother, Mother's Day promotion, it it comes with a with a skin do moisturizing mist. It comes with um, a exfoliant, a firming facial cleanser, uh, a bar soap, uh, and a cucumber lime, and uh, all. And you also get a give me just a second here. You get a um, sizzle lips and hips grapefruit frost a kabuki brush, and one uh, mineral brush set completely free. So this, uh, this promotion is valued at uh, $236. You only pay $114. Uh, you get 112 PV and 98 CV. So this promotion uh, is available for everybody for Mother's Day. So make sure that you guys place this promo uh, with time. The, this promo will, will be uh, over right uh, after Mother's Day, and we will have uh, another one available so make sure that you guys take advantage of that so and, and we'll be announcing it on our whatsapp call when we have the new one available so today make sure that you take advantage of this guys and um, like i was talk, uh, telling you uh, i had the opportunity um, of being in uh, in different uh, in different states uh, this last couple of weeks i've been traveling for two weeks straight i feel like i can speak uh, dutch pretty fluently <laughs> i wish and I, I, I got a couple of uh, our leaders, uh, Roy and Marie, actually had taught me, you know, some, some, some things. And I think I, I said them and people laughed at me. And I won't let you know what it was, but it was pretty funny. So I had the opportunity of traveling with them and with, uh, with Laura and Chris. Uh, we were uh, started, uh, started in, um, on April 22nd. And we went to Missouri, Missouri Iowa, and Wisconsin. Uh, and we did uh, uh, six cities uh, and six events, you know, one after the other. So it was, it was an awesome experience because we were, we were all, all over, you know, sharing the, the, the Mauer mission. We had the opportunity of, uh, of meeting uh, a lot of awesome people everywhere. We had, uh, you know, I had the opportunity of, uh, of, you know, learning on how people used our products and how much they, they love them and how much they, they love sharing the Mauer mission and, and uh, how much uh, people are, changing their lives with our awesome products. You know, the, one of the things that I love about uh, traveling is obviously, you know, building, build relationships with, with you guys, uh, you know, and, and have this, uh, this uh, family relationship uh, more than business and, um, and hearing uh, the testimonies. That really changes my life. And every time I come back from these trips, I come back with a, with a different uh, attitude, you know, just a different view of, of how to, to uh, you know, uh, help um, the field out there. So last month when I, when I told you guys were in this call, hey, give me a call and let me know, you know, when you guys want to do some meetings, you know, we had uh, some leaders that, that, you know, just jumped into this opportunity and, and called me and setting, setting up meetings. I know that we're going to be in the Idaho, Michigan um, area uh, in June, uh, the, the, the week of the uh, 20. Fourth, we'll be traveling for another week, a uh, long uh, tour, you know, get, getting some states. And we'll, we'll have you, we'll have more op, uh, updates uh, as soon as we, ca we have them for here in the next week or so. So um, after that, uh, we had uh, the, the opportunity of, of uh, having Tom Sr. On, uh, in Wisconsin. Uh, and that was a, an awesome experience. That's the, the um, uh, you know, the first time that, I, that I've been with Sr. in one of the events. And, uh, it was like a five or six hour meeting. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of people from, you know, from everywhere um, that came to, to see Senior. And, uh, you know, you know, you know um, Senior shared 
you know, the view of the company, the future, the products that we have, we have, and uh, uh, we had the opportunity of taking some CBD up there with us, and um, and everybody, pretty much everybody, you know, left with with one of them up there, and left uh, uh, what what's more importantly, left with a, a knowledge of a better understanding of what kind of a products we have and the difference be- between our CBD and, and, and the competition. So he was up there and, and obviously did an awesome job, and uh, I learned a lot from him, and I'm sure that, you know, everybody was there and did the same thing. And after that, I uh, I had the opportunity of being in Indiana and Pennsylvania from May 1st to the 4th. We had uh, four meetings up there, and uh, we had uh, uh, meetings with, with uh, with some of the leaders in, in the area, and like I say, it, it's just an uh, awesome opportunity um, to be up there um, and just share uh, this awesome mission. I feel super proud of being part of uh, of the Sizzle, Sizzle family and uh, and just be there and listening and, and learning from you guys, learning from from uh, from Elsie and Amanda and uh, and um, you know Dorothy and 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 Aldi and Rebecca and everybody that was up there just sharing you know, uh, the mission and their testimonies. And it, it's, it's just something, like I say, it, you know, I, I come back every time uh, I, I feel blessed to be part of this awesome, awesome company. So, uh, I, you know, I just came back, uh, you know, this last weekend. And uh, just to uh, let you guys know, uh, this week I'm, I'm still not at, at corporate. I'll, I'm actually traveling tomorrow to Mexico City. And I'm not traveling in, uh, in personal time. I'm traveling in uh, you know, in business, so we'll probably be giving you guys some news about that here pretty soon. But uh, everything looks awesome, and I'll be there for a couple of days. And uh, I'm not saying anything else before um, Aaron cuts me off. For but uh, all I know is that I love where we're going. I love that uh, just the energy overall in the field. I love uh, the uh, the opportunity of um, of being a part of this growth. Uh, you know, I keep telling everybody 2018 was a record-setting year for, for Sizzle. We, we doubled our sales in 2018. Every single month uh, this year has been overpassing uh, 2018. And I believe uh, last month was one of the biggest months, if not the biggest month in Sizzle. So, uh, it's you know, like I say, the momentum is awesome, just the energy is awesome, uh, you know, at corporate and in the field. You know, we've been we're getting ready for more events. I, I'm planning to to travel as as much as I can. Like I say, uh, in June I'll be you know for a, a couple of weeks. I, I know that I'm going to be on the 22nd also in um in in Florida uh, doing a meeting. We'll, like I say, we'll be posting some flyers and letting letting you guys know where where we're going to be at. We're, we'll we'll take promotions. We're going to make sure that everybody out there that we can reach uh, knows what the Maurer mission is and what the, the uh, civil space philosophy is, and we want to make sure that we keep letting a lot of people out there that are looking for some, you know, something, uh, a great opportunity and the best products in the industry. We we have events going on. We have Marrow Mountain in September 12th to the 14th, guys. We we guys need to need, we need to make sure that we have, you know, that everybody comes here, you know, uh, and and goes to the manufacturing facility, goes to and takes a tour. You know, gets to know people, gets to know people from other from other groups, from other teams, and learns from them. I know that we're ha- we're having around 50 to 60 uh, people from Japan um, that are coming. So uh, we need to uh, you know be there and make sure that we have fun and that we know everybody. We're going to have uh, a lot of fun. We're going to have uh, a lot of trainings too and uh, and recognition. Uh, we we you guys can go into uh, into our sizzle.net and and go and click in, in the blog and you guys can find the app. Uh, just uh, the the way that you can earn this this trip for free, um, and uh, you know by recruiting, by maintaining people, by ranking up, uh, you wanna you wanna make sure that you that you get the, the ticket for free, and then uh, the travel and then the hotel. Uh, oh, not the hotel first, and then the travel. So make sure you go up there, you know, there to the blog and and see that the details on how to earn points. I know that some people already you know won the whole trip, and some people are getting close to doing that. Uh, all I can tell you is is just the energy out there in the field with the leaders and just the excitement and the you know just the overall energy uh, that that you feel up um, out there is awesome and and like I say everybody wants to keep doing meetings everybody's calling me to say you know let's schedule something here and there and I you know I I tell you guys the same thing if you guys want to do something somewhere just let me know let's let's call this planet let, let, let's plan uh, plan the meeting make, you know get make some goals 
and make sure that we have uh, you know as many people as you can in your in your hometown, and uh, so we can go up there and, and, and do a good meeting for you guys. For now, we have you know stuff planned for for June already, and uh, you know we're always talking July also in some other meetings. Um, June was going to be an awesome month, like I say, and and, and we want to make sure that everybody's part of it. And uh, I don't know, anybody, I, I'm super excited about about everything that's happening right now for CISO guys. So I want to make sure that you guys are in it and you're part of it and we're working with the, with the people that really want to uh, make a difference and we are doing we are doing a difference we, we've seen a lot of people you know change their lives brand new people coming in every single day taking advantage of of, um, of the opportunity and the, you know people love the, the new kit I'm getting a, a lot of really really positive feedback on it and, and the in the flip chart and the brochures and catalogs and everything uh, that we have brand new available for you guys uh, and, and the brochures that, that, that we have available you know that they can print or they can buy. You know, just everything um, overall is 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 awesome. You know, so uh, the LRP uh, program, people are loving it. People are making sure that they're calling customer service and making sure that, that they they're aware on uh, on how my, how many um, vouchers they have available and and making sure that uh, we have a good communication with you guys to to uh, you know send uh, some emails. I know that you know that that's one of the things that that people are asking. We're working on it. Um, they're actually programming uh, to send out an, uh, an email every time that you uh, every time that you uh, have a voucher, um, and uh, so we'll let you know um, within the next weeks um, to let you know when that email is available for you guys. And anyway, uh, I appreciate everything, your, the support that you're giving us, the willingness to to do things, so the patience that, that you have uh, with us, with with with, um, with other things. And the communication is awesome. Please let, give us your feedback. Give us a call. Send us an email. Uh, make sure that we know, you know, what, what you're thinking and how we can help you grow grow your, your business. Uh, we've been telling you since last week, this last year, 2019 is going to be record record setting, and and we're, we're seeing the results right now. Every single month, we've been growing and growing and growing, and we appreciate everything you guys are doing out there. So, uh, for now, I'll probably shut up and uh, and give um, our. Uh, your our global uh, global VP of uh, sales and marketing, uh, Aaron Renner, that uh, just came back from Europe, and he's going to give us um, a little a report on how he went on on his tour. So thank you so much for everything, guys. Uh, Aaron, can you hear me? Yeah, Milo, I can hear you perfect. How about me? Loud and clear. Very good. Well, Milo, thanks again for bringing everybody up to speed and. And uh, for your time and effort out on the road, nobody uh, knows better than I do how difficult it can be to be out on the road as long as you have been. And, and we certainly appreciate all your work, your effort um, to go out. We definitely had a huge, huge month last month. And obviously these, uh, these results come as a direct result of being out there, keep, keeping the activity going, doing the things that are necessary. And uh, as you guys know, folks, and especially here for North America, uh, you've got a great cheerleader in Milo. You've got somebody that's actually doing everything he can to try to support and grow your business and, and give you guys the, uh, the tools that you need to go out and build a, an incredible opportunity for you and those people that you bring in and introduce to Sizzle. And so, Milo, we certainly appreciate you being out. Uh, I was going to scream as loud as I could to try to cut off your uh, comment about going down to Mexico City, but I decided not to, folks. I, I realized that, hey, there's excitement when there's uh, some good things happening and and some changes and some and some new additions to uh, uh, to the global map that we currently have. And so Milo is going to go down and do some due diligence and some in investigation, if you will, and try to determine if we're if we're linking up with the right partners. Who are we Who are we linking up with? Um, you know, wh when can we expect to do something? So again, don't uh, start calling people. I know there are people on this call right now because I can see your numbers. Uh, don't start calling people right now and and uh, letting them know that we're going there. Give us a little bit of time. I think you guys know us well enough by now that we've got to do a little bit more due diligence before we make the final announcement. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, dry docks, if you will. We want to make sure that we do it the correct way and really support you guys so that when you are ready to go down there and, and when we're ready to support you going down there, that it actually happens the correct way. So, again, Milo, thanks for being out on the road. Thanks for uh, spending time away from uh, family and, and, uh, and uh, those people, those friends and, and people that are supporting you by going out and doing what you need to do. So again, everybody, uh, Milo Costa, Director of North American Sales, thanks for being on the call. Thanks for warming up the call for us. And you're right. You know, we, I feel like the last time we had this call, um, I feel like I had just gotten back from 
uh, New Zealand, Australia, and Japan, and I really didn't even have a chance to get into it because we had such an exciting uh, topic to talk about, which was the CBD announcement that Tom Jr. was on the call for. We had Thomas on that call. Of course, Milo was on there as well. And there was a lot of excitement, folks. And I'm telling you, it has not slowed down. And it doesn't matter where we go uh, to all points on the earth. There literally are people talking about CBD. And so Jason and I had the chance, uh, as you guys may know, Jason Goff is our global director of marketing. He's the guy that's making sure that uh, uh, those tools, those resources, and the things that you guys need to build a business are actually in your fingers uh, on the website, et cetera. And so when, uh, when Jason talks about some of the things that he's been working on and some of the areas that he's been trying to impact, you guys are going to hear it direct from him tonight. He jumped on a plane, flew over. Uh, we spent a couple days over in uh, Europe. I'll tell you what, it wasn't long enough. I felt like I got hit by a Mack truck. I think it was too quick of a trip uh, to go up and down and up and down like that. Um, but the, the bottom line was that we went over there. We supported these incredible leaders coming in from all over Europe. From Eastern Europe, we had people uh, from Ukraine. We had people from Georgia. We had people from Latvia. We had people from the Balkan states. We had then people from across all of Europe that came in to meet as a group of leaders and to really figure out and, and put a strategy and a course direction together for us so that we can start to identify how best to grow those markets as well and support those markets. And so, of course, we're doing phenomenal here in North America. Now we need to see the same things happening in Europe. And, and uh, you guys obviously have heard and seen some of probably the YouTube uh, uh, posts as well as some recordings of Liesl Maurer taking over uh, as acting country manager for Australia and New Zealand. If you have questions, things, that you're in need of, reach out to her and uh, take that opportunity um, to have her help you and assist you with some of those things that are happening as well. We're already seeing some great adjustments happen as a result of that, um, of that title change. So that's a great opportunity for us to see her uh, jumping in with both feet. People absolutely love her down in uh, New Zealand, Australia, uh, and around the world. But, I mean, we, we really had a, a big need. Uh, and she jumped in immediately and said, how can I help? So it's absolutely awesome. So I really want to bring to you tonight, as of right now, I want to talk uh, a little bit about Jason Goff. You know, when we went over to Europe, we had a couple of, of specific things that we wanted to do. One was the new starter kit, the distributor kit, an introduction to that. We wanted to talk a little bit about um, branding, branding yourself, and we wanted to talk about CBD with Jason. And I'll tell you what, Jason, it was a standing applause. Everybody has been going crazy about CBD. It's not there yet, but we wanted to educate a little bit. Um, we wanted to talk about the starter kit, the distributor kits that people uh, have a, at enrollment. So I want to have you give a little fresh talk on that as well as um, uh, some of the information that you imparted to these people as it related to kind of, uh, again, branding themselves. I know you've got some other ideas and topics on that. But everybody, I want you to welcome to this call – Jason Goff, our, our Director of Global Marketing. Uh, here's the guy that's the, that literally is behind the scenes right now doing a lot of orchestration. And so, Jason Goff, welcome to the call. Well, thanks, Aaron. I need to make sure you can hear me okay. You sound perfect. Okay. Well, gosh, you say that every day. You're, just, you're such an edifier. And isn't this industry about edifying each other, right? So that's why I wanted to get back into it. Um, so yeah, Europe event was incredible. You know, I uh, I'd never been to Budapest. I was excited to meet some of our global leaders. Uh, you know, this is something I really enjoyed doing in in previous companies was getting out to different parts of the world. Probably because I'm a brand guy and I like to see how the brand is interpreted in different countries. You know, and how it it's the same but it has these little variances to it. And I just love uh, being out in different cultures and understanding the different challenges that distributors have in different parts of the world. And, uh, yeah, I, I love it. And what a great turnout. Um, I have to give big props to the staff over there. They did a phenomenal job, really incredible. Um, we, we did some fun things. We did this river cruise up the Danube River and, you know, got to have dinner together, got to have lunch together. You know, we had... Um, it was so great to be able to rub shoulders with, with these leaders as, as I've had the opportunity to do with some of you uh, stateside and certainly look forward to getting to know more of you uh, on a personal level at Mauer Mountain. Uh, I'm glad we were talking about that. Uh, but, yeah, again, really good training. You know, I, I felt like everybody was just sucking it up like a sponge. 
Um, also, the recognition event. Uh, I don't know, this maybe flew under the radar a little bit, but we introduced some new recognition pins at that event. And so um, we'll, we'll get those images out to you this week uh, via social media to introduce those new pins to you. So we're excited about that. You know, they've got the new look to them, um, you know, our new logo. Uh, you know, again, just little things here and there that are going to help us complete this, uh, this package. So, yeah, I don't have a lot of time. I've got a lot to cover. So starter kit, yes, Aaron gave me that task. Um, I've mentioned before I've always been uh, responsible for the kit in various companies. I know um, how powerful it can be. For those uh, that have upline support and, and especially those that don't, right? And I know it's there's power in the synergy of having our entire company focused on the same kind of messaging, right? I mean, that's, that's what I love about tools and marketing is kind of putting out these gold standard statements. Um, of course, you have your personal experience with, with the products and with the opportunity, but especially if you're kind of new to the business, and it, it's great to have those sanitized talking points and also just with regard to the way that we approach uh, the business as a, as a new distributor, right? So I've said before, this kit is a framework. It's, it's not exactly a, a comprehensive piece, but it certainly gives them, uh, your new distributors, a track to run on. And, you know, as Aaron is fond of saying, I love that we're on the same page globally as to the way we talk about the business and, and the, the sizzle system guide is that sort of 12-step program, if you will, uh, one of the good 12-step programs, not, not the other ones that we sometimes talk about. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, Aaron did a great job in his presentation, uh, not just talking about the, the products and the core products um, and how they all kind of tie in. Um, around the age pill, for example, because that's a product that they have in Europe that's a flagship product, obviously, for the rest of the company. But um, also Aaron talked a lot about, he went into great detail on the Sizzle System Guide and each of those points. And of course, you know, Aaron's got a lot of skin in this particular piece because it, exi it, it really kind of had its genesis with Aaron. And, you know, you're talking about the first 48 hours and the five steps to success. And so being able to roll that into one, um, cohesive piece was was a challenge, but also very rewarding. And I think we could step back from that and say, okay, this is a pretty solid framework for people to get on board with. So, um, and again, like Milo mentioned, we've had some pretty great feedback um, from various uh, of you that have uh, provided that for us. And um, you know, I just I feel really strongly about it. You know, we it's you you got to have something in your hands to go out and and when they receive this you know they can go out and start recruiting off of the catalog you know they can cut their teeth on the compensation plan with that great flip chart you know of course they've got the enrollment uh, forms and and the uh, Y sizzle pieces these great coffee shop belly to belly pieces so um, we uh, we've already started talking about you know some some iterations that we can do to make it more applicable in different markets and um, yeah, we're we're super excited, and I honestly believe that that you're going to see better retention rates as we go along with this Sizzle System kit. Um, so again, we're stoked about that, and hope you are too. So I also talked about what's your brand, you know, and and I did this training on, you know, what what is your what is your brand as a person, right? As a person, as someone who is affiliated with Sizzle. Okay, so I identified a few different areas that uh, help answer that question, what is your brand, right? So what are you about, okay? So just you've got 30 seconds, you just meet someone, they're like, what are you about anyway, right? Okay, well, I'm really into cars, right? Or I'm about helping other people, or I'm about, you know, having a great financial future, or you know what, I really like movies. I mean, whatever it is, you know, you should be able to tell people right away, this is what I'm about, Okay. And then kind of in concert with that, what, made it, what motivates you? Why is it that you get out of bed every day, okay? Um, you know, is it, is it family? Is it money? Is it, uh, you know, is it accolades? Um, is it a sense of wanting to, like I said, help people? Um, you know, and then how, does, how do those elements tie into what, what's really your story, right? Because what you're about, what your story, I mean, obviously your story as far as like, you know, why why am I 
<laughs> sorry. I got a daughter who wanted to give me a hug, hadn't seen me all day. So uh, at, at that age, they still like you. But uh, anyway, so, you know, in, in the case of me, for example, I talked about my story and why, you know, I kind of came up in the industry and why I decided to get passionate about supplements and, you know, how how I saw my, my dad's, life, you know, health deteriorate because of different toxic conditions that he had to work in his career, which kind of led me to why do I sizzle, right? Why do you sizzle, okay? For me, I was attracted by the solid manufacturing, the fact that we own that, that there was that investment in the future, the fact that we had safe products. Again, my father and my family, to some extent, having been around products that were not safe and seeing what happens when you get the right products and you eliminate those toxins from your system, right, and from your home, right? We had the right leadership, so I was drawn by that. Um, I'm very familiar with the Mowers. You know, you, you don't, I keep saying, you don't spend 22 years in this industry without knowing who the Mowers are, right? And then, of course, the opportunity and the fact that I saw fair and equal compensation with the compensation plan, and I actually felt like, wow, this is something that people can actually, you know, build off of. And so the other thing I talked about was why should I trust you, okay? So what is it that, what is it about you that makes me feel like, okay, I'm going to hitch my wagon to this person, right? This person is going to help me grow my business and get me where I need to go. So in the case of a corporate person, a lot of times you talk about the last company that you worked with or the other companies that you worked with, okay? As a distributor, you know, the, the element of trust I think a lot of that comes through in sincerity. Of course, you want to talk to somebody who's been in supplements for a while and maybe has been a, a distributor for a long time and has a track record. But what I said, you know, over in Europe was that, you know, if, if, if people can sense your sincerity about your sizzle story and about who you are as a person, right? I mean, it's really hard to fake that stuff. And so I think if people can feel that you actually care about them, and that they're just not a meal ticket to you, then even if you maybe haven't been in the business for a long time, they're going to want to work with you, right? I mean, they're going to feel that sincerity, and, and that's just that's huge in what we do. And then finally, I just talked about how do you brand yourself, right? And in this case, I'm maybe talking a little bit more literally because we, do, we are starting to push out some sizzle swag, and you can go to sizzlesales.com and get you know, different things you can use for presentations and meetings and clothing and apparel and all this great stuff and business cards. Um, but also I would say, how do you brand yourself in the way that you talk, in a way that you treat people? Um, you know, because brand is not just what we see on the outside, right? It's kind of what we have on the inside. And that brand, or really I would say your character, it comes out, right? If you've got not a great character, that's going to come out. It's hard to hide that, right? But if you've got the right character, you're about helping people, that's going to come out as well. So um, I don't want to go too much into detail on that, but that's a kind of an overview about what I talked about as far as what is your brand. And then I just want to talk briefly about Civil Safe CBD. What an amazing product this has been to be a part of. And even just over the weekend, I'm sitting in the hot tub at the gym, right? And this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, uh, somebody told me you know a lot about this CBD stuff. And so I, I said, well, that's funny. I just got back from Europe doing a training on it. So right there, you know, he's, he's sitting there, big, huge dude. And I'm sitting in the hot tub, not quite a huge dude yet, but I did my whole presentation to him. And, you know, I mean, granted, I'm not a distributor, but I could have signed him up on the spot if I needed to. And so consequently – you know, he's, he's much more informed and he's excited about it. So, um, you know, I, I love talking about it. Uh, it, it. Again, I still see tremendous benefit from this, from this particular product, and I love what it's doing for our distributors. Um, I love getting onto Facebook and seeing and hearing your stories, uh, you know, with it. And, um, you know, I, I really focus on having, having been doing this for a long time and having been, you know, taking it for a long time, and keeping an eye on the market, like I said, competitive intelligence is a hobby of mine. Um, man, am I just seeing people jump on the bandwagon of CBD? I mean, my burger's got CBD in it. My soda's got CBD in it. You know, people are just, you know, taking advantage of the uneducated consumer. And, you know, I, just today I saw something about a, you know, carbonated beverage that had 
10 milligrams of CBD, you know, which, again, you know, I think we've talked about this before. 25 milligrams is considered a therapeutic dose. Or I shouldn't say dose, serving size. So anything below that, I mean, I'm not saying you're not going to get some benefit, but really in a burger, you're not getting, I mean, <laughs> first of all, it gets cooked out of that right away at that high temperature. But regardless, you know, taking it, uh, the way that our product is directed for you to take and the amount that we have, um, you know, 1,500 milligrams, you're going to feel that, which brings me to a next point. I will, you know, I keep saying we'll take the Pepsi challenge over any other CBD product on the market because I keep hearing from you and from people I know too, hey, you know what, I've tried other CBD products. It didn't do anything for me, but I tried yours and that's, it's like a world of difference. And I've even heard this on the athlete level um, say the same thing where they've tried stuff in the past, but yet they tried ours and it's like, man, it's like night and day. So, you know, I, again, I've talked about the transparency. I love that this product is so conducive to transparency. And even today I had a communication with the state, uh, the Utah Department of Agriculture, um, you know, going back and forth talking to their you know, their attorney general's attorney over, you know, medical or excuse me, medicinal marijuana and the registration process for products in Utah. And, you know, come to find out that, you know, even just in talking to them, I'm like, wow, that brand is, is not registered. This brand over here, I guarantee they're not registered because I know what to look for now on a label. And so you're seeing, I, I keep saying, you know, that QR code, if it's not on there, you don't know what you're getting. And, and even being able to compare QR, or, excuse me, compare certificates of analysis too, you, you, can, you can tell, right? Because legally we have to disclose how much CBD we have in a product, and thank goodness we've got a ton. So we're not shy about that at all. Uh, I've said before, the consumer was ready before we were with this product. Uh, that was what they mentioned at the symposium that I went to. They said, you know, people are ready for it. They, they, they're excited about it. They kind of know about it. But what I'm finding is that people are super confused about it, um, and they're, they're getting sucked into, like I said, these things where it's like, yeah, CBD burger, I've got CBD barbecue sauce. You know, I mean, there's just, they're just not getting that benefit, so don't waste your money. Put your money where your mouth is because that's probably the best way for you to ingest it, right? So um, just want to wrap up by saying, you know, we really have an amazing product in this uh, sizzle safe CBD full spectrum hemp extract. Um, I'll just announce it first here today. Probably by tomorrow, we are working on a new video that we'll release through Facebook. You know, I won't go into a lot of details, but we kind of have to back off the sizzle.net, um, you know, sizzle, or excuse me, CBD. Uh, but we will continue to push out messaging on Facebook on this particular product. So watch for a new video tomorrow. That's going to focus on the manufacturing side. And we'll continue to tell that story about why ours is superior, because I know that's just a that's a really huge thing. People are interested; they already want it. We got to make sure that they're getting the best product, and when you know it, we have that. So, um, that said, again, I'm looking forward to meeting more of you. Let's get going to Mauer Mountain. Our team's super focused on that as well. Lots of good things happening. You know, we can put out all kinds of great stuff, uh, but if we don't have the right field leadership grabbing it and running with it then we're not going to be successful. Well, guess what? We're being successful, right? Best month ever last month. Um, it's not just because we're putting out great material. It's because you guys know what to do with it. So I commend you for that, and thank you for the time. Aaron, back to you. Hey, Jason, thank you so much. And, and folks, I think you can see, I mean, very succinct and, and uh, his ability to really connect. I mean, we understand to a certain degree what goes on and when we kind of think about or, or feel or want or kind of, imagine certain things. But what I think Jason does is he takes that and is able to put that into work, uh, into documentation, into tools, into uh, information, into contextual uh, detail. And really what you guys just heard was about a 20-second wrap-up of literally a two-day event over in Europe uh, that we had the opportunity to go to. And, and people were just groveling at the point where they had a chance to talk to Jason, asking him for thoughts, ideas, suggestions information, why did you do this, how come it worked that way, et cetera, et cetera. And folks, I want you to know, we have them right here in America. Sometimes I think we forget that, and I say America, North America, sorry uh, for our Canadian folks and anybody that's listening in from other parts of the world. But when it happens, of course, we can do it right here on the call. So again, 
Jason, thank you so much for being on the call. I, pr I traditionally like to try to keep these calls to about 30 minutes. Uh, we had a little bit of difficulty getting on earlier, and so I know that the number was changed. So for those of you that were able to jump on, we certainly appreciate it. But I really wanted to hit on just a couple of points that, that were important to me as I went through New Zealand, Australia, Japan, and then, of course, into Europe. Um, there are so many things that we're trying to do to help people really get streamlined, get focused, and really create that synergistic relationship between the, the company, because we're a very heavy product company, and then, of course, the people that are out there looking for the products, trying to determine which product they should start with, et cetera. So one of the things that I've been focused on for the last two months at least, if not more, is being focused on the age pill. And I always tell people that the age pill is an unbelievable product, and here's why. Because the genius behind it is that a lot of people want to get hung up on the age pill being this incredible uh, delivery system for NAD and helping uh, supplement the body's natural ability to create NAD, et cetera. And all of those supplements are great. But the back story on the, on the genius part of it is that if the cells are not ready, if the cells don't have the ability to take in the nutrition, it's all for naught. It's kind of like a vehicle, and I've explained this to a couple of times uh, in, in a number of different meetings running throughout the world. But the bottom line is that our bodies, our cells, are literally over the course of time starting to, to get um, glycation and lipofusion. And so we all know this. We understand this going into it. And so unfortunately, it's like an automobile that's, that, you, that you stuff away in a garage. Let's say, for instance, that you've got this beautiful collector vehicle. I don't care what kind it is, but you guys imagine it. Imagine whatever that vehicle is and put that in a garage and put a cover over it. And folks, if you're on from uh, maybe some Amish land, put the buggy in the, in the garage and then just put a cover over it and just leave it there and store it. And here's the problem is that over the course of time, things start to deteriorate, whether it be oil, whether it be lube, whether it be petrol or, or sorry, gasoline, whether it be uh, the air filter, the oil filter, whether it be the spark plugs corroding, whether it be the cylinders, whatever it may be that's happening, there are certain things that have to work in order for the car to work uh, properly. And so if you, if you stuffed it back in the garage and you put that cover over it and the, and the paint job stays beautiful and the leather stays beautiful and it's this collector vehicle, but if you didn't drain the gasoline and if you didn't drain the oil prior to putting it back there, you've got sludge that's building up, you've got separation in your gasoline, and it doesn't matter how clean that gasoline was going in, over time it starts to separate and it starts to have problems. And so one of the problems is, is that when you go to start it again, of course your, your engine is starting to try to you know, work some of those kinks out, work out some of that bad gas, work out some of that sludgy oil. And a lot of times it just doesn't run very well until you actually go in and get some detergent to go in and just clean out that entire engine. Well, our bodies are no different, folks. Our bodies start to create that sludge over time. They start to create that accumulation of uh, byproduct that actually starts to break down. And unfortunately for us, we start to get to that point where we know that we've got issues within um, the system. And our bodies just aren't working like they used to when we were younger. We know that over the course of time, that glycation starts to build up, that placking, if you will, of the cell. And then, of course, the cellular garbage that starts to build up inside the cell doesn't allow the nutrition to hit and doesn't allow the body to utilize that nutrition to help us obviously have a, a long, healthy life with all the energy that we hope to have with, the, uh, with our organs working correctly and with our, with our skin looking fresh and wonderful and youthful and all those wonderful things that happen. Our, our bodies start to decay and degenerate. And as Tom Maurer Sr. talks about, decay and degeneration are the first byproducts, unfortunately, of our body degenerating at a rate faster than we can regenerate. So if our cells are regenerating at a, at a rate that's less than the amount of cells that we're losing every day, then that's called degeneration. The decay obviously happens as a result of, of stress and, and other oxidizers in the body. And so as a result, again, even unhealthy eating, and if some of the, the habits of not being active, doing the things that we need to, well, the age pill goes in, the reason that so many people are having so much success with this, with this product is that it goes in and it really starts to clean up the cellular system. And so if you think about that, now all of a sudden you've got this body that's starting to work like, like uh, the body should work. And we all know that, that our bodies are doing everything it can in order to get back to a point where we feel the energy that we had when we were in our youth, the, uh, uh, the appearance that we had that we, when we were in our youth, that glow, that look, that skin, so my daughter, who's 13, walked out uh, 
of her room the other day, and she wanted to go to a friend's house on Saturday. And I said, boy, did you exfoliate? And she said, no, what's that? And I said, I don't know. But, I mean, I know, of course. But I said, well, I, you know, it's, it's when you uh, do a little exfoliation on your skin so it makes your skin, you know, all that gets all rough layers off, and, and you start to look like you glow. And she goes, no, of course I didn't do that. And I said, did you put bronzer on? She said, no, I didn't put bronzer on. I said, Chloe, your face looks so healthy. Your skin looks so smooth. It so, looks so clear. And it's glowing. You look wonderful. You look fabulous. Well, folks, she's 13. Now I'm 52 as of two weeks ago. So as a result, my skin doesn't quite look like it did five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, for sure, 40 years ago, for sure. So when we think about that, think about the same thing with the age pill. That's why it becomes such an incredible focused product. If you want to go out with one product, take the age pill out because the age pill will start to do things for the body that people will start noticing immediately. And then, of course, you can start introducing the other products that you guys are hot on. And whatever those products are, I traditionally talk a little bit about uh, the H2 sticks. They're very demonstrable. It's an easy product to start talking about. I start talking about TSX and how it actually augments and supports the relationship of the age pill with telomeres as well as the stem cells. I start talking about the triangle of life. I start talking about sizzle rip. And, of course, then you can get into all kinds of other products, brain vitality. You can get into Super Omega Plus. You can get into Encompass 360. All of those products start to become very, very, very focused products, but you can add to the age pill as people start to notice the difference. And so I really recommend that you get very targeted in your approach. And you can pick one product. Now, I don't care – what product it is that you want to pick, I use the age pill because it's an easy one to talk about. It's also an easy one that people can start identifying immediately with, wow, how come I'm feeling more energy? How come I feel like I've got uh, endurance and stamina? And how come I, you know, my skin starts to look a little fresher, more vibrant and youthful? And all of those factors are the factors that start to identify for people what's working. Of course, H2 sticks, I mentioned, is so demonstrable that that's one that obviously people can use immediately. They can see it working inside the bottle, and immediately they can start to feel some benefit of it without any stimulatory response from an actual outside source like caffeine, for instance. And so when you have these products, as Jason talked about CBD, now your body is, start to, is starting to utilize some of these ingredients as supplementation to what our body either needs and, and must have, either the essential, like essential amino acids that are obviously in our uh, in our sizzle rip, the essential trace minerals that are in our Spectromax, some of those essential nutri nutrients. But then, of course, you have all these other focused products and nutrients as well that your body is completely ready and prepared to take in. And, of course, as everybody knows, CBD is a super hot product. And so we have these different products that we know they work and that, and that people have had great success with. Now what's next? And that's really where people start to understand that they can start to just slowly in, introduce and, and help people understand that we have all of these incredible products. I was doing an interview today uh, when I was talking uh, during the interview. I said, hey, here's the cool thing about Sizzle. You may have been with hype companies in the past. Those hype companies usually have a product that's inferior at best, and unfortunately they have to hype it because there's nothing in it. There's nothing that's, that's worthwhile. Like Jason talked about with CBD, you've got so many companies out there that are putting out product that really is not a great product. And so we want to be transparent and we want to give you guys third party certificates of analysis so that you understand what we have and why we have it that way. So you take these different products and now you're introducing people to those products. That's really where you take those next steps. And so when Jason talked about uh, the starter kit, now you're introducing people to the opportunity as well. And once they start having uh, these experiences, once they, once they start feeling uh, these incredible feelings and, and things start to happen inside the body and they start to recognize that things are starting to change, then they want to share it with others. And so, of course, now you've got the opportunity that's sitting in front of them, the opportunity to make an income stream, the opportunity to augment their income, to, to change their uh, household income. And that's really where I talk about the opportunity in front of people is really with that, that distributor kit that people get during enrollment as Jason talked about, creating the same universal language, creating the same type of opportunity so that people can move forward and so that they can talk the, the same way and so that language can be used. I know I was sitting uh, in with Tom Jr. the other day, and he pulled out a note, and it came in from Mary Zook. And Mary said, uh, Tom, to Tom Jr., I can't remember exactly what it said, but something to the effect of, 
I want to thank you so much for that distributor kit. It's, it's helping us uh, speak the same language. And I want you guys to know how important that is because that relationship is what we recognized we were lacking over the course of time as we started to make the changes that were happening from October 17. Now, of course, we moved to the point where we are uh, today, and Jason was really tasked with that, as he talked about. And so giving people the opportunity to really understand, so how do, get, how do I get my initial return on my investment? How do I start working towards getting my product for free? How do I start working towards uh, making a lifestyle change in my household? How do I start working towards making an extra $1,000 a month? That's the psychology behind the, behind the, the, the system that we created. That's the psychology behind it to help create the behaviors that people can understand and resonate with. And so like Jason said, yeah, I may want to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month. And whatever that is, whatever that means to you, whatever that additional source of income means to you, that's really up to you. It's up to you to go out and find it and make those changes in your lifestyle, make those changes in your life, and then take that next step and start to identify ways that you can then, then you can help others do the same. And that's called duplication. And that's what this business is built on. The foundation of this business is helping people duplicate exactly what you learned how to do and then teaching them to do the same with the people that they bring in. And so once you have that universal language, that becomes identical in terms of the source of information so that now I know exactly what you're talking about and I can go out and do the same. And so as, as Milo talked about earlier, this distributor kit, this starter kit, that has so much information in front, of, in front of you, you've got this great flip chart. You can go out and, and it literally just use it as a cheater, use it as a guide, use it to keep you on task, use it as a way to keep you uh, from straying too far from the conversation piece and gives you the opportunity to have a little bit of information in front of you so that you don't feel uncomfortable about having that dialogue. And then the flip side of that is, as you continue to learn it, like Jason said, now you have something to talk about you have something that says, you know, what's, what are your interests? What are your passions? What do, you, what do you want to do in life? What is it that you're, why are you doing sizzle? What brought you to sizzle? How come you're here? And all of those little basic factors are the things that we then, of course, are helping people understand. And then one of the things that I really spent a lot of time with uh, as I was over in, uh, in Europe is I really talked about the leader within. And I want each of you to know that the leader within is such an important, valuable piece in my opinion. Many of you have seen it if you've been out to the Masters Convention. I've done it out there. It's a great piece. And the reason it's a great piece is it really talks about the, the characteristics or attributes of those people that are great at leadership. And so there are five questions that are asked, and those five questions are very simple and very straightforward. But it talks about whether you're born with or whether you learn and develop certain traits or characteristics. And so when we talk about positivity and when we talk about motivation, those two are, are um, characteristics and traits of people that are actually born with them. They're, they're identifiable pieces that you know those people that can help motivate and those people that are positive. And have you ever noticed that when you're around negative people, there are very few people around negative people? Why? Because I don't need that negativity in my life. I don't need somebody telling me all the woes and all the problems and all the things that are negative about themselves or about the world that we live in or about the issues that they're having or whatever it may be. It's the issues that they're having. I want to know how I can help, but I don't want to hear it every single time I get together with somebody because pretty soon I start to think, whoa, it's me. I got <laughs> This is horrible. But positive people are born to be positive. They're born positive people. They're also born to be motivational. People that can motivate are motivational people, and they have the ability to go out and motivate others to do things that they didn't think they were possible or they didn't think they could do or possibly do as a result of the type of person that they are. But once they find out that somebody can motivate them to do more than they ever thought they could do, that's something that people are born with. And so they find out, wow, I'm going to follow this person. I want to be a part of this person. And so when you think about positive and motivation, recognize those are two very, very solid, strong attributes of a person that has been born with something that makes them a leader. You know, when we talk about trust or integrity or when we talk about honesty, those are factors that are they, that I've obviously, uh, those are your tickets to the game. You wouldn't be in this game if, if it weren't for the fact that you're a positive, honest person, uh, that you can motivate, that you have integrity, and that you're able to go out there and help people without lying and, or conniving or doing things that are obviously not uh, – not of the nature of a good, solid leader that people are, are gravitating towards. Now, 
when you look at other things like execution, when you look at the decisiveness of somebody, and when you look at those things that are factors where people say, how do I get into the how do I get into the leadership position that I'm looking for? Those parts and pieces are the ones that people have to understand. I know I need to learn these things because I cannot, you, you're not born with the ability to execute on something if you haven't had the experience in the past to do the same. And so if you can't look back on the experience, it's pretty difficult for you to execute if you haven't had that opportunity uh, to really go back and deliver that same type of relationship. And so you have to learn through experience, how to go out and execute on whatever it is that you're trying to execute on, whether it be a, str a strategy, whether it be a game plan, whether it be um, your opportunity to go out and start working with others and bring them into the business, your execution and your ability to be decisive are both er areas or characteristics or traits that you have to learn and develop over time because, again, through experience, that's where you learn how to do these basic things that are going to help you go to that next level and the next level and the next level because through more experience, you're able to be more decisive, make quick decisions, and make them based on your gut, make, make them based on your, uh, your experiences, as well as the opportunity to execute. And so those two pieces, as you learn and develop, are, are the ones that are over time. And then passion is something that you also uh, learn and develop, and I'll tell you why because you really don't know at a young, young age what you're passionate about. I always tell people there's a great, uh, there's a great story about uh, the founder of Dropbox where he talked about find your ball. And when you think about it, if you've ever thrown a ball for a dog to run out and catch or fetch, you recognize that when you throw that ball, boy, that dog is so ready. It is just running as fast as it can. It's chasing after that ball, and it's so excited when it gets it. Sometimes dogs bring them back. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they wrestle around with it a little bit, and they just rip it apart. Sometimes they want to bring it back to you so they can take another go and another go and another go. But find your passion. And I'm telling you guys this from the, from the closing of this call. Find your passion. What are you passionate about? What is it that's going to drive you and motivate you and keep you focused on, on making yourself into a great leader? Find your passion, and whatever it is that makes you passionate, that's what you need to recognize. That's your driving force. That's what's behind you. And there are so many people that you can look at that are so passionate about the things that they have become enamored with and the things that the endeavors that they've become focused on. When you think about, uh, about that passion, you're really talking about how do I take those next steps and help others find their passion? And Jason touched on that earlier. What is it that drives people, and how do you understand and define that, and then how do you take them to the next level? And so I want you to think about as you, as you close out your call uh, tonight, this call with us, find your passion and think about that. You know, I, I think about the founder of GoPro. His whole entire focus was going out and trying to identify a way to document his surfing. Um, his journey of surfing, his, his love of surfing, his passion of surfing. And so he wanted to find something that could document it. The problem was he couldn't find a good, solid uh, um, camera that would actually go out there and give him the ability to document it. He couldn't find anything that was waterproof. He couldn't find anything that obviously recorded its clarity uh, that he was looking for. And so he developed his own. Well, as a result, uh, GoPro, the last time I checked, and this was a couple of years ago, GoPro was sitting at a valuation of about $1.5 billion. Uh, Nick Woodman, his, his net worth at the time was sitting at about $1.3 billion. So he was this guy that literally just took his passion to the next level, created something that he could document his passion with, and as a result, he was able to go out and create, a, a, a you know, for himself, a billion-dollar brand. So think about that when you think about what Jason talked about earlier, the reinvention of yourself, the ability to brand yourself, the ability to go out and help people. You know, misery loves company, but misery is not something that I love. And so I don't want to be around miserable people. I want to be around people that are as passionate as I am, that are as driven as I am, that are focused as I am, that want to go out and help others like I do. That's who I want to surround myself with. And I want to find those people that are as creative and, and as excited and as motivated as I am to go out and help others. That's why you guys are all on this call tonight. That's why you're in this industry. That's why you're in this business. And that's why you're in Sizzle. So one of the things that I talked about as I kind of closed out my uh, session or, or maybe even opened it up as well, but one of the things that I talked about is, you know, we always get up in front of everybody and we do Sizzle as number one. And what I really want to change that to is that Sizzle is number one, but we're one mission. We're one team and we're one Sizzle. That's who we are. 
We are absolutely focused on growing this company. We do it together. We do it as one, one mission, one team, one sizzle. And together, we can make massive change. And we're watching that right now as both Milo and Jason talked about and I mentioned earlier. Boy, when you see the numbers that are coming out of sizzle right now worldwide, it is unbelievable. North America has gone off the charts. We've never even seen these numbers in North America in the 10 years that I've been here. It's exciting to see. It's exciting to watch. I love getting the text messages at the end of the month. I'll tell you one of the people uh, that never, never ceases to amaze me, and it doesn't matter where I'm at in the world, I get the same text messages. Aaron, I am literally this far from being at my goal. Uh, Laura Bicini does it every single month. If you guys aren't following that same type of trend or pattern, with the people that are up, you're upline and sharing that information as well as the excitement, as well as getting the help that you need to, to hit those goals, then you're missing the boat. So I want you to know, take the opportunity right now. Find out what your passion is. Find out what your mission is. Find out how you can be a part of this incredible team called Sizzle. If you were invited to the call tonight, get back with the person that invited you. Find out, okay, so what, what's up with these guys? These corporate guys are so excited about this company, and why are they so excited? I mean, I've been, guys, I've been here almost 11 years now. I want you to know that nothing has changed for me. I'm as excited today as I, as I ever have been because I know what we're doing, and I know that literally what I've been working hard on for the last number of years is starting to come to fruition. We're starting to see the benefits of the things that we've tried to uh, champion and put in play. So I want you to know, together, we can do it. Separately, or divided, we will not get there together. And so let's work together. Let's be a great team, whether you're sideline, upline, crossline, any line. Let's work together to make these events that we're going out to big. Let's do everything we can to lock arms and create that unity that we need. Because guess what, folks? There's a lot of competition out there. And for us to be the number one team in the world, we can only do it if we do it together. So with that being said, again, Get back with the person that invited you to this call. If you invited somebody, follow up with them. As we always say, fortune's in the follow-up. Everybody, thanks again for being on the call tonight. Sorry about the change in the number. We were unaware of it until uh, literally we tried to get on. Milo was calling me in panic. I was calling my uh, Jason. I was calling the number, et cetera. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your focus. And we look forward to chatting with you this next month as we do our monthly Connect call on the first Monday of every month. Everybody, have a great day, have a great night, have a great week, and have a great month, and we'll look forward to another groundbreaking, record-breaking month in the month of May. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.